Okay, so here's the second go at this video. We're trying to do camera to phone via ethernet. Uh, since it's an iPhone, it's a little trickier. You're gonna have to use dongles and stuff, um, but, and a power connector. So we've got the USB um, to, uh, USB to lightning camera adapter and then a USB 3 gigabit ethernet adapter. Um, so that goes into here, uh, like so. And then this still needs power when it goes into the phone, because uh, the phone doesn't have enough power to do it properly, or to, uh, I guess, take the ethernet signal. So you gotta plug it into a power brick of some sort. It doesn't have to be this big, but you know works. Um, and then I've got just a little short ethernet cable for this particular demo. Um, so there's your sort of setup there. Um, now, all this stuff doesn't cost all that much money, but you know, power brick's probably your most expensive part, but this is about 45, uh, 20 for this, and then whatever cables. Cables, of course, cost bazillion dollars for no reason. Uh, so I'm hooking that into my phone um, and I've got Shutter Snitch running already. But before you do that, you need to go into your settings and in your ethernet, you need to configure it manually. Um, so what I've done is I put uh, 10.0.0.64 as my IP address, 2.255.255.0.0 as the subject mask, and the router is 10.0.0.1. Now, you also have to, when you're doing this, turn off, you can see Wi-Fi is not connected. Um, you could set it up so that you can have it connected, but I find that it just messes things up if you do. So uh, turn your Wi-Fi off when you're doing this, because you're probably not going to be using it anyways. You're just going to use being cellular data um, to be able to send the picture out. Um, so you've got to remember those Ethernet settings when you put it into the camera. So I've got the 1DX here, and we're going to turn this on. Oh, it's already on. Okay. So there we go. If I go into my menu settings, um, I've got communication setting under the first, my menu tab. You need to go into there, into network settings, and then I'm just going to plug this in so we can see what's going to happen. We're going to hit setup, and this is Landsat 1 uh, that I've, I've made up here. So I select that one, but I'm when you're first setting this up, you're going to need to change this. Um, so you go into change. Uh, you're at TCIP. Again, I put it in manual settings just so that it's always going to connect properly. Um, your DNS server is disabled. So you put it in an, an IP address of 10.0.0. whatever. Um, I've chosen 72. It was above the 6.4 that my phone, that we put into the phone, so shouldn't, whatever, it, it can't be the same as the phone. That's about the only thing. Uh, then you've got your subnet mask, same uh, as the other, and your gateway is the same as the phone as well. So that is setting up your um, internet settings or your IP settings um, on the camera. Now you have to tell it where to go and look for that. So you go to your target server in the next menu down, and then you put whatever you had for your shutter snitch or for your, your iPhone um, as the server. Um, so that will be 10.0.0.64 because that's what I used in this particular case for um, the phone. And then for Shutter Snitch, you're going to use port 2600, uh, or sorry, 26,000. Yeah, 26,000. 
So once you have that target server, this is in the FTP settings, you're gonna put your login name and your password um, into the next one. Your target folder, gonna leave blank. Um, your directory structure is the camera. Um, you don't want it to overwrite the same file. You want it to be in passive mode and I don't use proxy server. So once I've got that, if I go in here to my, um, my shutter snitch, let me just make sure that my ethernet is still same. Yep. We're still our manual settings for that. So if I go in into there, it'll say no network connection. If I've got that, I'm going to hit set one, select. And now if I go out and back in, it should soon, now it has connected. And if I go back in, it should connect with this LAN here. So I'm going to set one, select, and you can see that the light here will go solid and then you're good. So I've gone and shot some lane pictures outside. We're going to transfer this one here. So um, once you're in the communications mode on, you've got the set button being the way to transfer the picture. Press transfer. And after a little bit, shows up on the phone. So you're good. Uh, this is a raw file. So it has transferred the raw file onto the phone. Um, you can see Canon raw files on an iPhone through Shutter Snitch. You can't see Sony raw files. That's fine. Um, so from Shutter Snitch now you can do a bunch of things. You can change your metadata. There's a bunch of different things, uh, tasks that you can create to do it. Um, but if you want, you can just hit your share button, save it to wherever, or I can share it to Lightroom. Let's see, do I have Lightroom on my list? Yep. Lightroom, launch Lightroom, and that will send it to Lightroom. Now you can edit it from Lightroom and do whatever you need. All right, so hopefully that um, helps. If you need more stuff on Shutter Snitch, I guess I could do that separately, but um, let's just leave it at that for now. Hopefully this video works out better than the last one.